Welcome back to more humankind. We continue our learn to play adventure. I'm still learning how this game really works. We're currently in the industrial era playing as the British and uh, we're currently about to grab that territory, this chunk over here in this new land we've discovered over to the east, which is only inhabited uh, by the Austro-Hungarians with a outpost. They've got a fair bit over here. Then the, the big boys, the Brazilians, they've grabbed a lot of territory. And then there's also uh, the Persians, who we've got an alliance with. So, looks like I should be able to squish the Zulu. I'm kind of hoping, even if even if we... Because we'll technically run out of turns in 21 turns. I think you can continue playing past that. I might continue playing past just to wipe out the Zulu. Because they've been a proper thorn in my side this campaign. Uh, but other than that... Um, yeah, we, we've, we've had a good run. Um, I'll definitely do another series of this at some point. We'll probably try and do it on the real Earth map and we'll do it on the slower time schedule so that I uh, can enjoy the eras a little bit more. Do, 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 do. Right, what do we want? Um, your food is fine. Your industry, some more industry would be nice. Oh, my days. Was that 20 plus 21? Ruddy heck. From Synergies. Oh, my days. What is that? Is that a... That's a... That's where I built one as well already. And we get crazy Synergy. Oh, there's plus 23 over here. Oh, what is our stability? Stability is fine. Yeah, just keep building more of those, please. Oh, my days. Yes. Uh, we've got Civic Backlashes. Um, right. Uh, can I, can I have a look at this? Fundamental values. Um, I think, I think. Where, 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 where even is that? It's down, oh, it's down here. Oh, it's a, is it letting me enact it for, for free? You'll not spend your influence. Oh, right. Okay. Public security, minus 50% on garrison industry cost. Um, that's that one, or minus... Yeah, we say within our current ones there. So, uh, yeah, okay, fine. That's okay. Uh, enact. That's all right. Right, okay, we just finished the aqueduct here. Oh dear, our stability here is awful. Uh, what did the aqueduct do? More stability, apparently. You could fool me by looking at this. We've attached quite a few things, isn't it? Uh, I mean, that would probably be the better one to pop in. Let's plop it there, because that will give us plus 20. I'm going to go after Brazil. Uh, probably not, because they're quite well established and real strong. They are top of the list on this. We've just managed to crawl into third. They're on the, f they're on the final era as well, on the modern one. Um, so we can't really look to challenge them right now. Relation game. Let us formalize our mutual appreciation. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. Hello. That's the Austro-Hungarians. You guys want... Eventually, I can always trespass. Oh, they've received shared logistics. Units can be upgraded while within each other's territories. Empires share the transport infrastructure. Yeah, screw it. Why not? Your proposal makes good sense. Yeah, we'll be friends with you. Why the heck not? Right, go and make a nice little outpost here, please. And then we're going to send you guys over to grab this one. Because then I can build, build Big Ben there. Um, outpost creation. Yeah. I can't attach it until... I can't touch it until the out outposts are actually built there. Cool. 
Detroit. Oh, we've got some more bits. What does oh. Brazil want? They want non-aggression. Deal. Yes, I cannot dispute the benefit in that. Uh, renounce that. It would be best to let. Yeah, I, I don't want to have a war with Brazil. They're big and nasty. You Strong. Intrigue me. Scientific Let's agreement. Talk. Plus five percent science on empire. Yeah, sure. And yet, your proposal oh. makes anything to up my science production right now would be great. Hey, girl, hide him. Close to getting builder stars and science stars. Because through technology, we are going to get military coordination, howitzers, then line formation so I can get my unique British unit, the red coat. Noise, noise, noise. What are we currently going through? Uh, three. Supply lines. Thoroughfares. Increases the city cap. That'll be good. We're currently on... We're currently on. What are we currently researching? Oh, movable typeface. To give me yeah, more more research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And we're just going crazy on science all over the place. Where are my armies? We've got some of them over here. And we've got another group over here. Tell me about yourself. Piece of those guys. Oh, they were they were at war with the Brazilians, weren't they? Recently. I managed to get out of that. Yeah, so we want to try and take out Nossos. The problem is I can't declare war on Nossos. I have to declare war on these guys instead. Do a surprise war. Unless I get enough support for it. Yeah, I can't do anything against them. There's a vassal. Don't worry about that just yet, though. That's okay. Right, back over here to London. Turn again. What's the main objective of this game? Survive. Yeah, make it through the eras and try and complete the fame objective by getting to the top level of that and reaching the final era first. Well, and completing all the era stars for that one. Or the a number required. It is good to see a friendly face in this fickle world. I I resource sold. Yeah, I'm I'm not really doing the whole trading thing. I haven't got my head around that for this one, so I'm I'm kind of just just winging it. Wouldn't one turn tech be worth it? Craftsman. What was that one? Oh, like mountain warfare. And yeah. Stuff like that. You would definitely, actually. Charcoal kiln. I probably should go grab all that stuff that I've missed. We How much how much research have we got? We're getting 1,130 science per turn. Yeah, next next run, I will definitely not neglect my uh, science as much. Yeah, gotta wait for the outpost to be built there. You're building up your production. Oh, bless me. Um, you guys just... Um... Oh, yeah, I managed to grab this, didn't I, before? That was fun. Should go harass their districts a bit. I don't think I should, though. I probably, if I'm going to do that, I need to build up more forces. At the moment, we're, get, ooh, we're getting loads of money a turn. We suddenly managed to tech up quite a lot. Yeah, it's, it's an era race. What's this? Specialized production. I 
total privatized industries. Do they want me to cancel it? Plus one trader's slot per market. Mm -hmm. Defy this foreign interference. They want me to revoke it. I don't want to. Northern Rock minus 50 stability. Uh, I mean, it's already really unstable anyway. Refuse. It's not improving right now, so screw it. We got that. We just, we just, I'm just going to keep on doing industry here. Although, how is our stability? Our stability is still absolutely bonkers. I'm just going to keep building more of this because now that is plus 29. Just get all the in industry infrastructure. London becoming full of industry. Who'd have thought? Don't, don't drink the juice from Lake Hillier. The juice. Don't drink the waters from Lake Hillier. Not be good. First covered by the Brazilians. That's pretty cool. Managed to grab that then. Right, I want to make another outpost. Uh, that's probably the... That's like the best spot for it. Over there you go. Yeah, because you want to plot Big Ben on the river here. London having an industrial revolution? Never. Who'd have thunk it? Thirty farmers' quarters is quite a milestone. Let's hope the population is getting some exercise as well. Nice, movable uh, typeface research. So we've got universities, and we've got printing house. Nice, uh, but that one, the university, is plus one science on research quarters per adjacent research quarter, and plus three science on research quarter. Going to be a lot of research, a lot, a lot of research. But I think for that, don't I need to? That's something I've got to build or add in, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. The university. There's a lot of stuff there. This is science land, as you can see. Um, is that my highest amount? 300. Oh, we've got 405 at the capital. Rome, you're chilling. Why is it like reset my... Oh, oh, yeah, you can absorb other ones. If we, ha if we had enough that, we can make a mega city. Yeah, you can make it. Yeah. Because you can do the like one of the challenges is doing this as a single city challenge, right? You only have one city, but you you can build other ones up, but you have to absorb them into your one city or metropolis. I think. That's how it works, right? Okay, we've done that one there as well. That is going to take... Yeah, go away. Uh, districts. Uh, we can build outpost relocation or we can artisan's quarter. Oh, that one built... Why did that one build straight away and that one still taking turns? No, oh, it wants it there, does it? That That's an instant build as well. Noise. Oh, well, I should be able to... I was about to say, oh, I can totally attach that. I can't because we need this one to finish up building. One city challenge. Mostly a same thing, though, yeah. Pretty sure you can do it in this one, though, because you've got metropolises and stuff. Or is it? Is it metropoli? Science in uh, investing. Okay, one more turn left on that. We just finished the playhouse to get more influence. Um, you're fine on your stability, which is good. Industry's nice and high. We're getting lots of money. What do I want to get? What do we want to get? Uh, infrastructures. Yeah, get that in there. That'll definitely help. We've still got the city watch if we need a bit more. Idle city on London. I am just going to keep on with that industry. I'm just, just stacking this up because we're getting an extra, like, 28 each time. And the stability we've got, we've got oodles of it. And we're already up to, like, 100 and 
17 industry there. That's just good for pumping out units or just building this, this one up quickly to catch up. I say catch up. We've, we've made a alliance with the Austrians, haven't we? Friendly face yep. in this That's fine. We can still gather quite a lot. We're grabbing territory through here like crazy. If I went quickly, I could like hit them from behind, maybe. Doubt it, though. Persian Affairs, the meaning of art. The new playhouse is a triumph. Finally bringing the work of the most brilliant playwrights to a much wider audience. Your cities are uh, now major cultural forces. Art has become a mainstay of its enlightened conversation. Given its ideological influence, you must now settle the question of who controls the artistic world. No details. Here there's building stars to all the district. Yeah, we're just smashing them out. I'd love to get some of this stuff. I just don't have enough influence. Like, more research and more influence generation is what I need to focus on when I play this again. Plus one influence on research quarter. That's quite good. That is on commons quarter. It would definitely be Academy of Arts. Because of the amount we've put into research. Here's our unlocked. Nice. Yes, yeah, so we've got one one more to get, and then we go to the final era. We should get to that today. And will the Brazilians have been taken, but uh, all the others are available. What's this? Only luxuries. Trade everything. Uh, sure. I'll trade everything with you. Good sense. I say yes. Why not? Here is a proposal to get your heart racing. Customs union. I must ruminate. Sure. You are as just as you are wise. Let's make it so. I'm just wondering, like, is the, is the world going to kick off in big old nuclear fallout or are we going to be quite friendly and happy? That's going to go. I'm going to keep having you guys explore over here. Have I got Otis the only ship and you've got Millie on the second screen doing her art? Nice. What's she drawing today? Oh my god, there's so much osmosis we're getting through from the Zulus being right next door to us here. Uh, enact refuse. On army, plus 50% money from ransacking, plus 4 combat bonus. Um, army wages. I haven't been able to enact this one either. Stability on a city that you occupy. Stability on a garrison. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Oh, if I refuse that, they're going to get pissed again, aren't they? I mean, they're already pissed. I'm going to refuse, though. But we are, it's starting to increase with that now in there. So you're going to need some commons quarters. Plus 15. Oh, plus 25 there. Oh, that would get rid of the makers one, though. I've got plus 10s everywhere. That's it. What I can do. Okay. Oh, no. Where's that there? That is a... Oh, it's a recruitment one. All right. Yeah, whack it over there. Um, we can also do... No, we've already got the city watch. Mm. Mm. Rats. If I need to worry about nukes, it doesn't look like you'll be there. Yeah, that's true. Discovering nukes using knights with swords still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, where are we now? We're at Rome. Rome, you've just finished some more industry. You're low on food, so you should probably pop another food. Water. Somewhere. Or food district, rather. Go there. Uh, someone wants to chat here. Poisoned whispers. Over the years, you've been advised by an interesting, an interesting uh, motley of counselors, from cryptic spiritualists to straight-talking soldiers. But none have captured the imagination of your people like the monk of Roma, a long-haired, common-born mystic. Unfortunately. Although he offers you illuminating perspectives, the people despise him and his folk and his folk wisdom. Now they demand his exile. What will you do with him? Banish him. Modifies geopolitical, geopolitical access towards homeland. Or assassinate. Mystic's murder will allow for more draconian control over the empire. Current effects. And it will change. We lose some stability on cities. 
that will stay within our current one. We'll just banish him. Let's not kill the poor bastard. Is it, is the Monk of Roma is Rasputin. By the sounds of it, yes. Why are you here? I don't know. Like, it just opened, mate. That's why I'm here. Oh, chill. Right, I can finally attach you. Which means I can finally attach this one. Which means I can finally start thinking about building Big Ben. Although, God, we do not have enough. That's why I'm building up all my industry. So we could build Big Ben. It has to go on the river. What does Big Ben even do? Plus 20 stability. Plus 5% science per alliance on Empire. Plus 10% science on capital. I mean, that's not bad. Uh, I think we still need to do quite a few more of these industrial zones. Just keep building everything. Just keep building everything. How is our how is our population here? Nine out of twenty six. Okay. There's a little land bridge over this, but I think there is. I can queue it into other cities, yeah, so they all work on it. I still think, though, that with 120 turns, even if I got all my other cities on it, it's still going to take quite a while. So I'm going to get a few more, a few more makers' uh, buildings, and then we'll then we'll deal with that. Uh, uh, Revelatory arts. The invention of movable typeface is a great breakthrough, but has the potential to cause massive disruption to existing powers. By the printing press, ideas both profound and dangerous can now be easily uh, disseminated. Artists are in the vanguard of this revolution. No details. I mean, again, I, ca I can't... I don't have the influence, so, like, stop stop bothering me with them. <laughs> stop bothering me with these things. Um, what am I going to get next? What's going to finish me off? Like, a bit more research. Expansion stars. Owning 19 territories attached to any city. Including city territory current. Okay. Tiles that I can just go and grab. Can't be done with him. That's my own empire. No valid tile. I think they've turned them all into outposts, so I can't. Um... Allies, we need to strike here. Yeah, they're trying to go after the Zulu. I'm trying to help out with that. Can't do that. What is it? Was it for again? Outpost or administration center. Oh, why? Why? That's an administration center. Has it been attached to a city? Oh, it's because I don't have I don't have movement rights to go through their territory. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why it's telling me I can't do that. I think I think the next campaign... Oh, that one's stuck in there, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay. But they can only move between those two. They've been stuck. Uh, I can't even disband you, can I? Next, I would, I'm thinking Babylonians to start with. Get some early science going. Oh, I can do another tenant. Uh, those have already been claimed, so I can donate generously. Plus 25 money per alliance on Empire, plus 3 maximum number of holy sites. Or meditate often. 
plus th two combat strength, plus one maximum number of holy sites. I think generously, we've got one. We've got actually, yeah, we've got one alliance, haven't we? Plus three maximum number of holy sites. Let's give you quite a few more. Egypt were really good early. I think it's good manufacturing. Yeah, I think that would be kind of fun. I definitely want to play a lot of different like civ choices than I have done before. For sure. Uh, I'm going to donate generously because I think more. More, um, more holy sites for more uh, stability is always good. In the high furnace. You guys are stuck, unfortunately. You can't, you can't do anything. You're stuck in there. So you guys, guys, just station. City, uh, Pride Rock, you have just finished some research. Nice. Get the university going. It'll take you a while, though. And we've got Mufasa's Mount. They've just finished uh, more science. University is going to take a while. Your sure industry is pretty low. You're back down on food, so you need some more food somewhere. Yeah, chuck that over there. And turn. Um, do, 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 do. Opinion of the siege. Yeah, so I, I did mention it briefly at the start of the stream. I'll pro I might even have a quick chat about it tomorrow before we start playing Thoric and kind of record it as a video. So one, go out on YouTube, share my thoughts about it, but also something we can pull up when people ask about it in the future and get kind of a nice summary of what my thoughts are on the CG work. Ultimately, though, kind of long and short of it is, all sounds fairly promising. My biggest concern, though, that remains is whether or not the AI can actually cope with it. If the AI can cope with it, then brilliant, great. If it can't, then it's just just going to be kind of a bit pointless and disappointing. Uh, Stability's fine here. We don't have a lot of science. Uh, I'm trying to think what we can do. We've got a lot of industry here, a lot of food. Got lots of money coming in. Oh, plus 30. Chuck it up there. Let's just get that done. That's a that's a no-brainer for more. We found all the winged hussars and the musketeers that the Zulu are sending around, so they're over here exploring. We must have sailed on over. I can't add it to my empire because I don't border it. Or that it's already been claimed by another city or something like that. So it's why I can't do it. Expansion isn't super useful late late game. It's my own empire. Uh, I mean, if we're going to go after them, we need to attack from like over here. My army's ready. Uh, do Big Ben. Oh, yeah, that's... Once I'm done with that one, yeah, I could get the other city actually to manage starting it, couldn't I? And then everyone else chip in. You're right. Uh, well, let's start Big Ben. Now we've done that next one. Let's start Big Ben. Let's have Big Ben. That's ruins. Yeah, Big Ben, go on some ruins here. And then we can get other cities to share in that project when they finish up. I need the army on the outpost to annex it. But I can't just click it to go there. I thought in the past I've clicked on armies and got, said, hey, go over that way. Oh, another osmosis event. Bloody hell. What do you want now? I, I did like I don't know. I didn't open this panel. How do you do? Whoever you are. I've stole Lake Hillier. They discovered it first. Or well, why didn't you have it then? Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I'm going to demand that. A question of land, do you understand? 
It will cost you a lot to get out of this one. There is evil in your heart. Uh, what have you got? Oh, how did they get? How did they even get? How did the Mongols get that down there? Cheeky little outpost they've just done. Yeah, so what, do you reckon I need to have the army actually on top of it to do it? I could have sworn I've told them, hey, go over here and do it. But uh, let's let's head over there. The reason why I say that is because we're only one territory away from having enough expansionist stars. To get up to the final era. Uh, we don't have a navy, but we do have transport ships that can get us around. this conquered empires oh yeah no we don't want the brazilians are anti-imperialists so yes well i what i've stuck with because we we're going after the zulu so i'm going to refuse one idle army you guys just chill here and uh, idle city rome you can help chip in with big ben Take 57 turns now. Good, good, good. End the turn. To secure peace, we need to start a war, Frodo. Arch for Gondor, Hobbit. Arch for Gondor. <laughs> Fly lines research. Nice. Now we've got grain silos. We've got thoroughfares. Automatically creates roads between outposts of your empire. These roads set the movement cost of the train to one. And we get a plus one to our city cap. Nice. Oh. I have a proposal for you. They want open open borders. Interesting. We will. Yes. Yes. I cannot dispute the benefit in that. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with you guys. You're you're strong. We'll accept Here the offer. A proposal to get your heart racing. Fascinating. Cultural agreement. Yet, yeah, sure. Your proposal makes good sense. I. Yeah, I could just, um, where is it? I could just get, why is that pinging? Could get these guys just grab another outpost. Because oh, I, I can always make it into another city, can't I? If I found another city over here, it's going to take 15 turns, though. That's only going to take five. Why is that going to take so many turns to do? It's like... The production required to do it up there, but what's the difference between, like, five here and 15 there? It's because it's not getting enough around it. I guess the base amount is plus five, plus six. It's low on some tiles. Uh, it's based on the production of the tile. Um, let's go for this one. Five turns. Overseas interests. An era of grand commerce is upon the empire. Trade routes riddle the land with wares fashioned in one corner destined for markets in the other. Yet it's not only overland that goods find customers. Now merchant companies across entire oceans to link markets and make handsome profits. How do you wish to respond to their growing power? Accept or not interfere with the free market? Keeps us pretty much where we are already. Nationalize. These riches deserve to be shared and controlled in the interests of all. Or tax. Uh, tax would shift us away from having a bit of stability on all cities. I think we will nationalize them. Better bing, better boom. Hello, How what do you, you want? Keeping, Chief? I'm, I'm, I'm keeping good, uh, Mama Boklo. Uh, how, how are you? How are you keeping, Chiefette? Why are you here? I don't know. 
It's because you keep selling, like, auto-selling stuff in the background. I'm not doing this. Actually, I, if I was going to do that, I should I should totally have sent out, like, a, a settler, shouldn't I? What's the the unit? The Yeah, settlers, because they create a, a city with the same industry and three popular... Yeah, something... Hmm... I should probably do that, shouldn't I? I mean, I can make, I keep this one as an outpost. Let me just swap that up there for a smidge. I can't cancel that though, can I? I've started. Or can, can I ransack it? No. Actually, I could totally buy it as well. Just do that. Found a city. I mean, I could found one up here instead. And get up and around the Austrians. It grabs a bit more territory that links towards our home. And we just leave that doing its thing over there. Otherwise, it's going to take a while to get you over that way. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's head here. Let's get that done. Also, the Northern Rock, your stability is increasing. We still need to increase it a little bit more, though. Um, let, all we can do is more commons quarters. All we can do. Keep whacking them in. What could possibly go wrong putting it right next to the Austrians? I know. It's not like we're going to piss them off at all. Do you come here to waste my time? Cool heads can settle any matter. Well, oh, they've just gone and settled over there, have they? Sneaky. It will cost you a lot to get out of this one. Have you no shame? Yeah, we'll be able to declare war on them shortly. We want to keep our bit growing. Yeah, so they just built there. Okay, fine. I mean, I've, I've totally upset them by building that there. <laughs> Yeah, war with the Zulu coming. Very apt for the British, unfortunately. Yeah. Red city over there, please. Ah! Though we're actually not going to get to use the British thing um, that we're working towards either because we've now completed our era squad. I mean, we can wait, but I want to get up to that next era, damn it. <laughs> we are so far behind on the industrial stuff. I don't want to lose out on getting a good one, though. Not trench warfare. Heavy machine guns. Oh, was still an industrial. Damn. Mitch quarters also help stabilize. That is construct police style infrastructure. Oh, okay. What, the, the fortification ones? Oh, we got Manchester. Right next to London. That's how, Yeah, that's, that's how it works. 100%. Plot that in there. Right, who can we beat? Oh, it can be the Australians. Diggy, diggy, diggy hole. Plus 20% industry on all cities. That would be helpful right now. Strip mining complex. Pollution from it. The stability hit from it. But plus 50 industry per adjacent strategic resource deposit. Ooh, that's pretty good. All terrain PMV. Okay, I like it. I like it. We can transcend, but we don't want to do that. There's the Soviets. Soviets do. Red the red tide. Minus 20% on the unit uh on unit industry cost. Plus three combat strength. Get the arms factory. And the red army tank. Got the Americans. American exceptionalism. Plus ten influence on resources being sold. Plus one money generated on ongoing trade or city outpost. Uh, you've got defense agency, minus 10 stability, <laughs> plus two combat strength in combat for units in or adjacent in the district. And you've got the lightning. 
A jet. Multi-roll aircraft. Aerial strike. Turks. People's reform, plus one food per population in all cities. Public school, plus one science per population. Plus 300% science per adjacent research quarter. That is bonkers. Stealthy oper uh, operative missile. Stealth missile. That's pretty cool. Hey, Dan. Uh, we might do a poll. Let's take a look at the Swedes. Uh, prize science, plus one science per district on all cities, plus three science on research quarter. Research Institute, plus three science per district, minus 10%, oh, not 10%, sorry, minus 10 stability, plus three science per adjacent region. And then you've got the, was it Stealth Corvette? I felt like the Turk science one there, plus 300% science per adjacent research quarter. That's better than the Swedes. What's the Japanese like? Uh, blossoming innovation, minus 20% on all technology cost when researching. Damn. Robotics lab. Uh, plus five industry, plus five pollution, minus 10 stability, plus five science per adjacent district, plus three industry, plus three science, plus two industry on makers quarter, plus two science on research quarter, on city or outpost, plus one workers slot, plus one research slot, count as makers quarter, count as research quarter, and you get the uh, Rizen. So World War II fighter Indians. Economic elephant, influence and money. Ashram, peacekeepers. Not really the kind of place that I'm going for right now. Egyptians, Valley of the Kings, plus four influence on Emblanc District. Archaeological dig, minus 10 stability, plus three influence. Three officers. Chinese. Uh, Silk Railroad, plus 10% money on all cities. Congress, plus seven money per number of attached territories. Uh, lot, lots of extra slots and you get guardians <laughs> I quite like the Australians actually um, I ha I'm i leaning between the, the Turks and the Australians right now Swedes are way better than the Turks really? plus 300% science per adjacent research oh for the public school that's only that one right? yeah 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 whereas the Swedes do Prize science, that's like their, oh, that's their, their trait, plus three science on research quarters, and then the research institute. Okay, the research institute isn't as good, but that, what you're saying is you reckon the prize science will be better than the plus 300%. We have decided, we've had a vote, and we've decided, going into the contemporary era, we are going to become the Swedes, because they will give us even more science, which is going to be bonkers. In fact, before we... Oh, we, we'll, actually, yeah, we won't take effect till next turn. So we'll be able to check what our science is now and what it goes to after we become the Swedes. Because, yeah, prize science gives plus one science per district on all cities and plus three science on research quarter. We also get the Research Institute, plus three science per district, minus ten stability, plus three science per adjacent research quarter. Uh, and that counts as a research quarter itself. You also get the Stealth Corvette, but we're so far behind getting stuff and plus we need oil for that. Probably not going to get it, but let's become the Swedes. Oh, look at my fancy suit. I love it. Suit it up. Confirm. Oh, woo -woo. We're currently getting 1,113.4 research per turn. Let's see what that's like next turn. Idle army over here. You guys are just... Uh, granted... Can we do that? Will, that? will that speed stuff up for that in the area? Oh, and it's going to take, take them four turns to clear it. <laughs> no point in doing that then. Let's just station you guys there. Just chill. Right, here we go. Here we go. The human mind. Creative, imaginative, and ingenious at turning every single human invention to its most violent end. We pray or hope, looking forward to a future which, with luck, will be counted in millennia, not in months. Tolerant, smart, hardworking, great work-life balance. And on top of all that, saunas to relax in. Mm. 
Nice. Look how fancy we are as Sweden. Right. Research. 1,386. So we gained an extra, like, 200 odd. 270 odd. Look at all our fancy cities. And our commons quarters look amazing. I'm built into the mountainside. That's really cool. I love how it changes the look of your, your cities. And the, the, it's a I think it's the sprawl that I really like about humankind. Like, Civ, you just tend to build up. I mean, you do sprawl out, but it, there's more sprawl with this, which I like. I really like seeing how they expand on out and grow. Look at that. Look at the, all the high rises there. Oh, another backlash. Um, right, which one, do, which one do they want to do? This isn't one we've already activated, so it's just bring one in. We can enact it. Um, plus one influence on make a quarter. Yeah, do that. That's fine. Idle cities. You can help with Big Ben. It's now going to take 28 turns. And Manchester. Um, yeah, I'd love for you to help with Big Ben, but right now you need more, uh, more production. Or you can be useful. Brawler music is A+. Plus. Oh, yeah. Wait, is my army making its way over? Oh, oh, oh crap. I'm a scientist now. What's that? Dang it. Whoops. Head back. How bad is that? We'll take damage each turn. Okay. Very well. Uh, what do scientists do? Collecting mines, you don't have to if it's a city. Receive more fame when earning era stars. Can set cities into collective mines mode. All the industry money are converted into science. Well, that's, that's pretty bonkers. Everything inside. The thing is, you don't have a lot of that, though. Like, Pride Rock could probably be the one to do that, because you've got so much money coming from here. We're going for the university, which actually I could just buy at this point. Yeah, let's do it. Let's build the buy the university, and then let's activate this. Collective Mines. <gasps> we've just turned it... We've doubled the amount of science. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. We're now getting the... We're going... We're rattling through tech. Because we've got 2,000 Empire Research return. Oh, boy. Halo. That is bonkers. Flintstone researched. Now get Bastions. The Man of War. It's cool. We're only like three eras late. Big brain mode in that enabled yet. Yeah. What offer am I accepting? Share maps. Yet, yeah, that's fine, you. Brazil. I mean, we're gonna. It ends technically in five turns, isn't it? Oh, Zulu have made it into the final era. But, oh, who are they now? Are they. Dreams, oh, cool. oh, they just teched up themselves. You wallies. That's totally not smart. They've still got more fame than me. You boggers. Let us formalize our mutual appreciation. Scientific agreement. Deal. Yes, I cannot dispute. Am I still trying to get the... Oh, I still, I still managed to unlock the red coats. That's cool. See you, Tim. Hope work goes well. Electricity. Coal generators. Yeah, we are so far behind on our tech. Next campaign we do i definitely want to be much more with it with science from the start i mean i've learned i've learned how to play in this learn to play series funny that science osmosis craftsmanship and charcoal kiln 
You just missed the offer. You'll earn instant boost. No, you know what? I'm going to unlock and get those done. This music is glorious. Do I, I don't even have railroads. No. I do not even have railroads. What is happening? You have something to say? You have something to say? Uh, no, I do not. That was quite a gruff uh, impression. It is good to see a friendly face in this fickle world. Yes, it is indeed. I'm glad we're allied. Wonders are absolutely broken. Yeah, fair bit. Two idle cities. Northern Rock. You are slowly but surely improving. Do you want to help out with making Big Ben? Big ben? It's not going to do a huge amount, actually, with you helping. I might actually try and do something else. Can I do because we're current stability sucks. Um... Yeah, I can totally help with that. Uh, okay, let's do do another one of these. Uh, you know what? I am gonna I'm gonna swap that out from the unit recruitment one. It's only like a two bit, two or few bits over, two or three bits over. Uh, Manchester, 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 Manchester. Again, love to put Big Ben in there, but it's not gonna make any difference. So let's keep building makers quarters all over the place. Oh yeah, I can totally. Oh, I oh I can absorb. I just absorb Manchester into it. Don't want to do that. I mean, yeah, they are right next door to us. Oh look at them with their fancy train. Oh, they got a train station. Damn you and your superior research abilities. That of a gun. Yeah, I mean to be fair, first game and I've managed to come third. I don't think that's terrible, right? Yes, it is good to see you. Hello. Glass of seat. Yeah, I mean, I should probably be buying things that I need for stuff, but I'm just, I'm ignoring that. I feel like it's like far too late for me to start doing that. We had a massive haul with these guys. That was basically it. Basically all I could achieve. Oh, hang on. You guys can upgrade to Musketeers. Um, yes. Do it. There's my other army. It's over here. You can't be upgraded yet, though. Not until you get home. Which you'll be able to do this turn. In you come. Oh, boy. Not the musketeers. <laughs> Again, not the musketeers are totally in the right era for what we're in right now. This is a bigger timeline mess than Doc 2. Pretty much. Civic backlashes. Um, oh, god dang it. And simulation P, what simulation costs. Uh, you know what? That, I don't need a simulation cost right now. So yeah, I can flip that over, replace. Pressing matters. Every year, the great population of your empire, um, intended in their essential needs, clamor for more and more titillating news stories it's become clear that there should you should choose uh should that, that should you choose these stories could help shape public perceptions press freedom again would love to don't have enough influence seventeen eighty six is a bit early for musketeers a bit late i'm gonna say it's it's definitely not early for them yeah, <laughs> the wee bit late. Help out with Big Ben, please. Oh, it's only adding two to it. Okay, I'm not gonna worry because I really want to give you a re research institute because there is surely yes. Look at that! I knew there'd be a spot plus ninety nine from all the synergies from research. There's plus ninety four up there. Yes, get it right in there. Bing bang bosh. I love being Sweden. I'm listening. Hello. What are you asking for? What are you asking it is for? A pleasure to see you, friend. I'm opening it and there's, there's no problems. So They're like, what? Why did you bother me? Um, just regroup yet until you're re recovered. Close ministry stars. Is that I say? Like, what do we have for these final ones? Research, earning pops. Earn as much fame as you can before the end of the game at 300. Yeah, so we're, we're about to end next turn. 
Where's the time? We could totally start a new series today. What do you want now? On the new the new map. And I know a bit more of what's going well, on now. Fact, as always, it pleases me to have me. Yes, let's do it. Attack them as one last time. <laughs> and then start pumping out a load of units. I mean, we can keep on playing. I feel like I've learned a lot that I'd want to start fresh now. Because it is just a jumbled mess of crazy catch-up. It's the fact that we constantly had loads of wars back and forth with Nosos and the Zulu. I've got a beautiful voice. Sing more, please. What shall I sing? <laughs> I'd like to have got Big Ben out. Damn, that's only two turns as well. It's because of the Maker's Quarters. Keep smacking them down. Because we're... What is it that's given us our insane stability buff? Was it some some research, wasn't it? Oh, it's oh, our luxuries. That's what it is. Sing that... Sing the song that Pippin sings. What the... Home is behind. As Faramir charges to his death. That's it. Game end. Just as we research carbine tech. End of your journey. This is your last turn. The game has reached its turn limit. You'll be remembered as Lionheart, illustrious leader of the Swedes. Ah. You have something to say? You have something to say? I no. Really, I don't. That is that is it then. At least you can't keep on playing. The empire you have built, from tribe to titan is a credit to your exemplary leadership. If another has done better, that does not lessen your prestige or your impact. Military arts blossomed most under your rule. History will recall you as one who believed that might makes right. And the wonder you built. World famous and often visited, it brought you fame respect and probably a nice income from tourism one other achievement worth noting you became the leader of a great religion congratulations and glory to you and though your people may have found it difficult history is certainly impressed you participated in the longest war. Congratulations. Under your guidance, the thrilling tale of humankind has been rewritten in your own words. There may be future adventures and deeds, and even grander scope for this grand story. Regardless, you have left a great mark and answered the question. How far will you push humankind? Dun, dun, dun. So I came third. There we go. British. Best era was my, the industrial era. Best era for um, Agamemnon was the ancient era. And they started off, Midas started off, the best era was contemporary. Yeah, right at the end, they got there real quick. If you have been watching this on YouTube, because we've been recording this at the same time as our Twitch streams, uh, that's where this first series ends. Um, I don't think we can, if we hit next, does it take us back to the game? Oh, we get to see more, we get to see more bits from Neolithic era, from each of the eras. How we advanced. But, uh, yeah, we'll be doing, we'll be doing a new Humankind series. I've decided Tuesdays are still going to be Humankind days where I'll stream it. And record at the same time we're going to do a new series based on the uh real earth um map so uh that should be good fun and i'm also going to play on the longer turn difficulty or not difficulty longer turn limit which i think is 600 turns so that way we should get a lot more time in each era and hopefully actually get to experience some of them uh, a bit better i'm obviously going to try and focus on getting my research um sorted a lot sooner and i'll probably look to take uh, cultures that aid with early research buffs. I am going to try and see if I can put a little bit of a uh, kind of, I guess, 
rule on my next series, which is that I can't choose, unless I'm forced to because all the others have been picked somehow, I'm not allowed to pick a, uh, a culture civilization that I've picked in from this previous series. So, uh, yeah, be sure to tune in to all that. We continue to advance. There we go, on to the next bit. We had the longest war, which is against Zulu. Best city was Pride Rock. Curiosity's found 30. And longest ideology, um, progress. Territories controlled 20. Districts built 175. Battles 168. And units defeated 248. Along Metropolis difficulty. We'll probably do it on the same difficulty, I reckon. So we can actually uh, continue the current game without further end trigger if we want to. But I feel like... I want to start something fresh and new now that I've learned a fair few things. I might keep this one, this save, um, in case we ever want to come back to it. We've learned a few things, but I think I'm so far behind with my tech in this. I don't really stand much of a chance um, of exploring things, but we could always try stuff out in this one if we really wanted to. The only, the only culture I'm kind of thinking that maybe I might potentially choose again is the Swedes right at the end if we've got our research going, because we only just got to have them right there and then. But uh, yeah, again, as I said, if I've been Trump, well, what I've been in a roundabout way trying to say, if you've been watching this on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. Until the next Humankind series, which will be starting very soon. Again, streamed every Tuesday, recorded at the same time to be uploaded, probably twice a week in big old chunks. Until then, take care and ciao for now.